Hello and thanks for joining us on this Thursday. I'm Journey Taylor. Let's get a check of your forecast with Corrales Ortiz. Oh no. Actually, police in Louisville, Kentucky have not yet released a motive in yesterday's mass shooting at a bank. We do know the shooter was a colleague who killed former co-workers just as their work week began. A new study explores why COVID-19 vaccination rates are lower among children. I'm Donya Backus with what parents need to know. Plus, Broadway's longest running show is about to take its final curtain call while the final bow is happening at 1222. But first, we have a look at weather. It is a beautiful day. I feel like a broken record, but a good one, a happy one, right? It's another nice day. Another nice day for many of us. Uh, there is some rain showers in southern Arkansas here this afternoon. We've had some of those rain showers uh, pretty much in south and southeast parts of the state for the last several hours. Here's where the temperatures are at this afternoon. 78 degrees, mile my, my. It's gotten warm out there pretty quickly. 75 currently in Stuttgart. But if you look into southern Arkansas, we've got some 60s. That's where that rain cooled air is 68 currently in Camden up to 70 right now in Mina. Now as for those rain showers, we find them beginning to dissipate and you'll notice here there still are a few down there, but I can't take that chance of rain out completely until later this evening. Our forecast for today calls for a very comfortable afternoon. I think we'll see those temperatures bump up a degree or two more. It's largely dictated by how thin or how thick that cloud cover is. Uh, at times we'll see the clouds thin out and we see the temperature warm up and then more thick clouds move in and we see the thermometer start to fall. So that's just something we're tracking for you today. Nice weather will continue tomorrow. However, as we head into the weekend, rain and thunderstorms are likely, especially on Saturday. I think we'll probably clear things out on our Sunday. Some of these storms on Saturday, however, are likely to be strong, possibly even severe. We have some updates with regards to that forecast. We'll break it all down, including a timeline here coming up. And then as we look ahead into next week, we're tracking nice weather again, uh, but it's going to start to warm back up. So uh, we'll see things cool down as a cold front moves through on Saturday night into Sunday before we return back into the 80s going into the middle part of next week. Well, no matter what season we may be in, rain or shine, one of the best ways that you can always stay informed is by downloading that THV 11 app. There you can stay informed on the latest news and headlines anywhere, anytime. It is free to download. You want to be sure to follow THV weather, Facebooks, and forecasts for any latest updates. Well, first we have a THV 11 update. A new group wants to join in on the investigation into Summit Utilities. And it includes some big names in Arkansas business. These companies use natural gas provided by Summit, and they say they've dealt with the same issues. So many of you have with those large bills. Now, THV 11's Ashley Godwin is continuing her reports as she's been tracking this story from the beginning. I've never seen a utility spark that number of complaints to the attorney general's office. Jordan Tinsley is representing Arkansas Gas Consumers Incorporated, a nonprofit group that consists of several large corporations that purchase natural gas like Riceland and Lion Oil. AGC has filed a petition with the Public Service Commission to be included in their investigation along with the attorney general. Our goal is to investigate and determine whether or not um, Summit has fulfilled its duties under the law. Summit Utilities also filed direct testimony with the commission for the first time. Company representatives explained how the price of the billing increased, attributing it partly to a 35% increase in their supply rate due to a rise in gas costs, demand of utilities, and recovering costs from the 2021 winter storm. Now here's what happens next. Right now, Summit is preparing its defense for the second issue under investigation, how much they paid for natural gas. They and other parties to the case are working under a deadline set in May. Then the commission is expected to rule on whether Summit followed the law. If we determine that it has not, certainly we will be pursuing adequate remedies for the members that have suffered harm as a result of that. In Little Rock, Ashley Godwin, THV 11 News. Well, now to an update that Calais Apartments tenants have been eagerly waiting to hear. The complex is now scheduling times for some of them to gather their belongings from buildings that are safety approved. 
will be the first time they're able to get back into their homes due to the damage left behind after the tornado. And it couldn't come quickly enough. I have a two-year-old and I have a 10-month-old. So they need something to sleep in. So that will mean a word to me for me to get down there and get what I need to get out of there. I don't have any clothes or anything for work. I had to, you know, from people being helpful and donating money for me, I had to go and buy what we can on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> the city of Little Rock condemned the apartments when the tornado hit, but it is allowing coordinated residents access to certain buildings. This after some of the winners became upset with poor communication from the complex during the crisis that prompted Attorney General Tim Griffin to step in. A lot of times we hear frustration with property owners. Obviously when we call, we sometimes get a better response than maybe a tenant did. The AG says his office is getting similar complaints about access from people who live at other apartment complexes and he's working with property owners to fix those issues. But he also says not to try to access those apartments. And remember, managers are trying to reply to hundreds of messages right now. Our state continues rallying together to help those impacted by the tornado last night. They did so in the form of a benefit concert in downtown Little Rock. The hall hosted a show featuring six artists to raise money for those impacted by the tornado and 100% of the proceeds going to the Central Arkansas Tornado Recovery Fund. That was a big turnout and that showed up to see some of the performers that headline like Matt Stale and Justin Moore. I get to get on stage with some of my some of my favorites in music and uh, especially favorites from Arkansas and, and uh, you get to be part of uh, part of having fun for a good cause. Governor Sarah Sanders also made an appearance. Now there's still a lot of work to do and on this long road to recovery, your help is still needed to find ways that you can lend a hand. Just text us the word give to 501-376-1111. Well, turning now to Louisville, Kentucky, where police have released 911 calls from Monday's mass shooting at a bank. They paint a harrowing picture of what happened as a gunman shot his co-workers and police officers. Now, we share portions of that audio, but we want to warn you that these calls are disturbing to hear. Oh, my God, there's an active shooter there. And how do you know you have an active shooter on the site? I just watched it. How do you watch it? You watch it on meeting. How do you know the person? He works with us. What well, also released was a call from the shooter's own mother trying to warn people, but she was too late. At a vigil Wednesday night in Louisville, community members honored the five people killed. Funerals for at least two of the victims are set for tomorrow. A federal appeals court ruled late last night to reserve access to the nation's most commonly used method of abortion, the pill. Uh, but the court tightened the rules restricting when in the pregnancy and how the drug can be attained. Scully Henry has more from the White House. In a 2-1 vote, a federal appeals court preserved access to the abortion pill mifepristone for now, but it comes with restrictions. The Fifth Circuit panel ruled mifepristone can only be used for up to seven weeks of pregnancy instead of 10, and it cannot be distributed by mail without a visit to a doctor. This narrows last week's ruling in Texas, where a single lower court judge blocked the drug's FDA approval. Mifepristone received FDA approval 23 years ago and is used in combination with a second drug, mesoprostol. The White House says it's committed to protecting women's reproductive health care. We are going to continue to fight in the courts. Uh, we believe that the, uh, the law is on our side and we will prevail. The Justice Department pushed back against the Fifth Circuit's ruling, vowing to seek emergency relief from the Supreme Court to, quote, defend the FDA's scientific judgment. The case is also calling into question the impartiality of the justice system. A poll completed Wednesday found 56 percent of all Americans and 51 percent of Republicans think the Texas ruling was politically motivated. Even some Republican lawmakers have acknowledged that could spell trouble for the party at the ballot box. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. Well, happening today in North Little Rock, the Veterans, Veterans Village of America is distributing food in coordination with the Arkansas Food Bank. The giveaway starts at 10 a.m. and it's happening at 8325 McArthur Drive. So please help us get the word out. If you're struggling to get the food you need during this recovery phase, you can show up and they'll make sure you are fed. 
Now, speaking of getting fed, today at Five, Scott plays a visit to a place you might not expect on this week's edition of Eat It Up, the restaurant that aims to do more than fill your belly. Don't miss Eat It Up today at 5 p.m. And the pandemic health emergency is officially coming to an end, but scientists are still researching COVID-19 and the effectiveness of vaccines. That includes studying vaccine hesitancy. When we come back, we'll look at the study examining why so many parents chose not to vaccinate their children. Despite a bit more cloud cover across Arkansas this afternoon, it sure does feel nice outside. Spring continues in the natural state, but unfortunately, spring means changes and they're heading our direction. We're talking about a chance of strong to severe thunderstorms returning to Arkansas. The details are straight ahead.